Big trucks, lanes shut down, torn up pavement. It is a headache Pinellas County drivers have been dealing with for years. So what in the world is taking so long and will this ever end? Construction along Ulmerton Road seems endless for folks who have to drive it every day. And one of those fed up commuters contacted Aid on Your Side. And Aid on Your Side's Mark Douglas did some investigating. Keith, the DOT calls it widening. Motorists call it maddening. Whatever term you apply, it's running way behind schedule. Bumpity bumpity bump. Here we go. Dina De Maria is fed up. Look at this. Are you kidding me? She invited us along to share her pain. This is what I deal with every day. <laughs> Five days a week, De Maria commutes an hour each way from Tampa to Largo. And you stop and go and stop and go and, and drive straight into this. What does that do to your psyche? <laughs> Well, when I wrote you on Friday the 13th, I was at the end of my rope. I was very frustrated. And who can blame her? The DOT widening project started back in 2011 and was supposed to finish a year ago. It's like watching paint dry. At Di Maria's request, we asked the DOT to explain the holdup. The answer? 82 days due to moving utilities and other unforeseen issues. 54 holidays and 160 weather days. I think it's a bunch of lip service. Di Maria is tired of dodging barrels, battling uneven pavement, and navigating ever-changing detours with few workers in sight. Have we seen anybody working yet? No, but here's some guys right Look here. Look at that. Let's see what they're doing. One, two, three, four people, most of whom are just standing around waiting for the trucks to do something. <laughs> <laughs> are you ever tempted to throw a oh, gesture? Yeah. <laughs> If she could, this is what she'd tell the governor. Just put more bodies out here. And while they're at it, throw in a road sign telling motorists when the misery will end. You want a sign of hope. I want a sign of hope. I want to know that there's light at the end of the tunnel coming. Well, the DOT tells us the contract for that Almerton project is supposed to end January 24th, but that doesn't include weather days, holidays, and whatever other kind of days is keeping project managers from finishing that job. Meanwhile, the annoyance factor is ginormous for commuters like Dina, as you just saw. Boy, they, they should hear from her. <laughs> I think she they just did. Yeah, it's just uh, now, this is a busy stretch of road, very small, but it's, a, it's an important corridor. That's right. It's, it's only two miles long, this yeah, project, sure. but it's one of the main east-west corridors. In fact, it's a hurricane evacuation route. We pointed that out last summer, so it's a very important stretch of road. All right, Mark, thank you. Hopefully it'll end soon because well, I know hope. you have to deal with it, too. <laughs> uh, if you're dealing with your own traffic nightmare, we're here for you. You can log on to our WFLA Facebook page and tell us what highway, intersection, or road that drives drives you crazy and makes your commute a hassle.